All right, Mike, Rob, rejoice. We're going to the City League. Oh, Girls baby. City League title game from last Friday. Rogers and Start start 6-0 lead. Bria Jefferson says nah. Yeah, the nah. first thing's We're cutting first, the lead right now. Let's just talk about the gyms in the City League. Scott Gym, Weight Gym, all-time favorite gyms in, in period. I like to see some of the boys' uh, uh, championship games played over there at Scott. But let's talk about this right here. This right here is just pure athleticism and grit and toughness. Driving through a defender, keeping feet. Look, you see her feet. She never got square and set. But to finish that shot right there, that is great. And to get the N one. Nice job there, right? But right well, yeah, like right six zero lead for the start at that point. She was like, "All right, we're gonna we're gonna turn this <laughs> yeah. game around real quick. I'm gonna get to the basket and one huge momentum swing for Rodgers. Obviously, they needed it the most right there. Bria Jefferson has been on an absolute tear. For the last month of high school basketball, had a 40-point game against Anthony Wayne. She's consistently dropping 30, had 31 in the City League Championship. Rodgers now the 11th time in the last 13 years, Justin, they've won a City League title. And they've done it consistently with players like Bria Jefferson and the, the people that have come before her. Yeah. Uh, Zaya Cook, uh, yeah. she was part of two Pretty state good. championship teams of those 11 out of the last 13 yeah. to win the City League. And they, along with Start, have been the two premier teams yep. at the top of the City League year in and year out. I appreciate both coaches, Dane Franklin for Start and Lamar Roger, or Lamar Smith for Rogers. They, with the new look with Lima Senior joining the City League this year, they only did one league game against each team, as opposed to two times home and away. But both coaches said, you know what, this rivalry means something to the City League and to the, the City of Toledo at large. We're going to make sure we play each other twice. One will count for league, one will not, but they made sure that they were going to play twice. And I think that's a great idea because it only adds value to your schedule and, and beefs it up in the sense of hey, we're going to learn and find out something about our players and our team with these two games. And Bria Jefferson, one of the top 30 first team all BCSN. Deservingly uh, so. Candidates, yeah, absolutely. And she's been great. You mentioned the 43 points against Anthony Wayne earlier this year. And then I think Rodgers has a chance in D2 to go on a serious run. I see them getting to the district finals, uh, district semifinals, at least against Bryan, number one seed. They're having a, a great season out of the NWAL. And then winner of that game, I think, will face Liberty Benton. So those three are the cream of the crop in the bracket that those three teams are in. And that, that's going to be some exciting basketball, namely because of players like Bria Jefferson. Yeah, Bria Jefferson was a freight train getting her way to the basket there. Let's not forget about Naira Clark, 12 points and 19 boards yeah, in the championship. Akron zip. She was performing as a D1 prospect, definitely in this game. Huge shout out to Rogers Rams, their 11th City League title in the last 13 years. 53-40 was the final score there.